ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you could please welcome to the stage His Excellency, the Director General of the FAA, Dr. Shark Stew. Your Excellencies, the Honorable Minister Tony Burke, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I should like first to express my profound gratitude to the Australian Wool Innovation, Cotton in Australia, and the Cotton Research and Development Corporation for having kindly invited me to the celebration of the launch of uh, the International Year of Natural Fire. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to join the Honorable Tony Burke, Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry, and other special guests from the wool and cotton industries during this celebration at this wonderful venue in the National Maritime Museum in Sydney. The idea of the United Nations International Year dedicated to natural fibers arose in December 2004 during a meeting of FAO's intergovernmental group on hard fibers and on jute Kenaf and allied fibers. The proposal to declare 2009 as the International Year of Natural Fibers was subsequently endorsed by the FAO conference in November 2005 and was transmitted to the United Nations Secretary General. The main objective of the International Year of Natural Fibers is to raise the profile of these products and to emphasize their value for fighting hunger and poverty and to overall economic growth. Globally, each year, farmers harvest around 35 million tons of natural fibers from a wide range of plants and animals, including sheep, rabbit, goats, camel, and alpacas, from cotton balls, abaca leaves, and coconut husks, and from the stock of jute, jute, hemp, flax, and rami flax. Those fibers form fabrics that have been fundamental to society since the dawn of civilization. Over the past 50 years, natural fibers have been replaced in much of our clothing, household furnishing, and industry by low-cost synthetic fibers produced from petrochemicals, which now account for an estimated 60% of the world textile production. But with science and technology, we can reverse this trend. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, why are natural fibers so special for us? Natural fibers are a healthy choice. They provide natural ventilation. Wool garments act as insulators against both cold and heat. Natural fibers are a high-tech choice. They have good mechanical strengths, low weight and low cost, that has made them particularly attractive to the automobile industry. Natural fibers are a sustainable choice. We are moving to a green economy based on energy efficiency, renewable feedstocks in polymer products, industrial processes that reduce carbon emission, and recyclable materials that minimize waste. And natural fibers as a renewable resource uh, for excellence. Natural fibers are a responsible choice. The production, processing, and export of natural fibers are of significant economic importance to many developing countries and vital to the livelihood and food security of millions of small-scale farmers and processors. Natural fibers are a fashionable choice. Today, they are at the heart of the eco-fashion or sustainable clothing movement that focuses on all those global concerns from the environment and for the well-being of producers and consumers. 
It is for these reasons that I believe the International Year of Natural Fiber is well worth celebrating. FAO is contributing to the International Year by sponsoring symposium to study the problem facing the natural fiber sector and identify opportunities. <laughs> More than 70 events will be held by our partner organizations, including international conferences in Frankfurt and London. Activities have been supported through FAO-owned resources, donations from the Common Fund for Commodities and Donor Countries, as well as from cotton, wool, and jute industries organizations, among many others. FAO welcomes the support from both government and the private sector to realize the full potential benefits of the International Year of Natural Fibers. We all have a, a stake in a vibrant, productive, and sustainable global natural fibers sector. I thank you for your kind attention.